today we'll see a python program so i have this python program here so in that i have defined a function called test and i'm passing input parameter to that function and next is i'm checking that uh, input parameter if it is greater than 0 then i'm subtracting the uh, input parameter by 1 then and again i'm calling the same function here and out of then out of this if if then i am printing the value of i so inside the function if i call the same function again then we call this a recursion so that's what we're going to test it, test out here so this is my uh, function and i'm going to pass i'm going to run this function by passing a parameter passing an input parameter as 4 here let's run this and see what is the output we're going to get out of this uh, function so right now I'm in the command prompt. So I'm going to run a by by test of by. If you see the output, it is printed as 0, 0, 1, 2, 3. So now let's see how we get this output 0, 0, 1, 2, 3. So what happens when you run test of 4 here? So first what exactly happens here is, so when you run test of 4, it's going to pass value 4 uh, pass a 4 as input parameter to this function then it's going to check if it is 4 greater than 0 it's true then it's going to decrease the input parameter by 1 then it is i equal to 3 in this case then it's going to call test of 3 here so again call test of 3 here along with it you're going to print 3 print of 3 so when you try to execute test of 3 then again it goes into this uh, function and pass parameter 3 here then what it happens is again check 3 greater than 0 yes 3 greater than 0 then what happens again here is it's gonna do test of 2 then comma print of 2 print of 2 Next, what happens it is next is gonna find what is test of two here. So again gonna run this uh, function test of two. So again it's gonna call test of one, then it's gonna print one. And next it's gonna call when it run test of one, it's gonna run test of zero, comma print 0 so when it run for test of 0 here when it test of 0 goes inside it it will like 0 greater than 0 it's false so that's why it will not go inside again now so it's what a print print of 0 here so when it when when you check the output it goes from bottom to top so first we'll get a output of 0 print 0 test of 0 is if you uh, test of 0 0 then 0 greater than 0 is a false and it's going to print 0 here so the output here shows us first 0 then followed by this print of 0 here so that's why we got 0 output here next so this is the output of this line the first test of 0 output is 0 then print of 0 is 0 then then it this is the output of test 1 so test 1 this is the output of test 1 this is what test of 1 again the followed by we have print 1 here then it's gonna print one. Since so this test, this test one output is this is it output of test one. That is what this is. This I mean this is the last line. Similarly, when it comes to test two, this is the output test one of print of this is the output. So again, test two is this is the value. Then followed by print two. Then when it comes to test three, this is test three output is test two of this value. So this is the output. So for test three. This is the output, then we will have print 3 here. That's why you could see the output here 0, 0, 1, 2, 3. That's how it is printed. It is something like stack. So it puts a value inside the stack and it keeps on adding to the stack. And finally, it comes, it go, comes from bottom to top approach. That is first in, last out, or last in, first out. So if you keep, keep putting the values in the stack, and when the final execution comes, it executes from bottom to the top. So that's why you can see, you could see. For print 0, you will get 0, 0, 1, 2, 3. That's how output you could see here. This is something called as recursion.
Uh, hope this helps.